What is up my OCBTVians and how are you all doing and welcome back to Ace Four Foundations, the Split Vendetta. Hopefully everything is good at your end, hopefully all of this virus crap is starting to quieten down a bit, at least. Anyways, today we're going to be setting up a large complex, we're going to be doing a space root, booze, a space weed and measure dust complex. It's going to be bigger than the one that I made in the first season, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. We're going to be doing a bit of a time lapse thing of me setting it up. Hopefully we'll have enough time, or if I have the patience, to sit in front of the PC until it's built, which I highly doubt it, so it's probably going to be on the next episode. And, um, but yeah, we're going to have to go around the capture and a couple of bits and bobs as well. We're going to do a bit of piracy. We need a new constructor because our previous constructor got randomly destroyed by a Zenon. Um, randomly. <laughs> and, uh, we also need a couple oh, Jesus, that's a lot of red dots. And we also need to get our hands on some large miners. And what I think we're going to be doing is, um... Over hither, if we come with over hither earth, um, righty, so these guys, I actually made friends with them, and it was very, very, very easy, because somewhere over here, there was a Zenon station, and it was quite, it was pretty much in range of this one, it was about 40 kilometers in range, and I was, uh, taking out any and all little CV Zenon, CV ships that were popping out, and that really, really boosted up our rep. So the reason why I wanted to do that was is because there was a couple of blueprints that I wanted to buy before we go back at war with with the with the Zyos because yes I want to be at war with them and probably go to war with a couple of other bits and bobs as well. So yeah, I got the two uh, ships. I think it was the was the, the Balor blueprint and the Chimera blueprint. Well, what one of one or two of the others and the, the split mark four engines and probably two or three uh, two types of weapons I, I think I can't really remember now but anyway that was one of the reasons why I made friends with them the other thing that I want to do is I want to go and capture some of their large miners and uh, hopefully another constructor ship I don't know if we'll be doing that on cam or not but anyways let us just get on with this let us start with gathering all the bits and bobs to make our station who read that? So before we go shopping, this is the current status of the player inventory. So this is all the bits and bobs that we got, and there's quite a lot of bits and pieces that we can sell to make a little bit more cash with. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. We do have a couple of advanced bits and bobs, advanced weapon chambers, and uh, basic, basic. Oh yeah, those are basic stuff. With exceptional engine fuel, exceptional shield, exceptional nano weave, and that's pretty much it. So that is those down here. There's nothing pretty much to look at. I'm going to carry these with me. I don't know if we're going to be needing them. I can't remember, but I'm going to start to take them with me anyway. So that is that. And we got um, an advanced nano weave to drop. And or the exceptional nano weave to drop from over here. We had an exceptional thing drop and an advanced thing drop pretty much right after each other. Um, but that was it. We ha I haven't had anything else drop uh, since then. And that was like an hour or two ago. And, you know, this area has been, well, the, the pilots have been here, you know, kind of like since day one, kind of like training up on these CAC over here. If you do want me to go through the list, let me know in the box in the down there. We do have the Jaguar actually is the one that is doing, is so far is the one that is really, really leveling up fast for some reason or another. But I think the, the reason is this. As he is also killing stuff over here, he's also opening up lock boxes. He is also collecting the wares for me that drop around wares, you know, all the bits and bobs that the cake drop around here. And then I also tell him to deliver that to our headquarters. So I think all of those kind of like contribute to that random chance of him gaining some XP. So I think that is why this guy is doing much better than the rest. He has leveled up to three twice now, and this is his third time. So yeah. If you guys, you know, are sort of like interested in, in that kind of, you know, stuff and things. Anyways, uh, let us go to the shoppies. So yes, one of the things that I wanted to do was, is try to get um, the blueprint of the large habitats at least. I think that's the most expensive thing on our list to make this, con this uh, station. Oh, there you go, large habitat, right on the first go, that is absolutely and utterly awesome. Shall we scan take these? Yeah, I might as well do these ones as well as we're here. Could you, like, uh, line up? Okay, so we only got a permanent trade subscription added. Uh, don't know what that is actually is at the moment. Where is our little thing? So, okay, so we got our, um, 
blueprint there. Very nice. Let us go and do a bit of shopping as well. Pew, right there. And so everybody say hello to the lady with the big bush. Lady with the big bush, say hello to everybody. It's an honor to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> Righty, so what the hell do we need from here? We're gonna be needin's, gonna be needin's one of those. Who right this is this is all the bits and bobs that we're gonna be buying from the lady with the big bush. Uh we're gonna be going with a uh, standard dock. Um actually should we go with the luxury dock? We'll go with the luxury dock because it's not that much ex more expensive. Um don't think we're gonna have some mediums. So we'll probably just add more luxury docks because I think what I'm gonna do is probably gonna have a lot of small uh, small ships to do the, the sort of like couriers to do delivery runs and all of that and then you know the mediums would be for the factions that want to come and trade really uh dock t pier because uh we'll probably be using some large stuff to do some of the minings all of the base connections gonna leave the whole administrative center thing for later on um but i guess we could probably buy it anyway and go claim an unknown sect unowned sector we already have this yeah i stole that we already have those so yes the medical supply all of the connections the foods the meats uh spice yep spice water wheat uh, that is everything probably from the Argons that we need and then we're gonna have to go to the SCA to buy the other three bits and bobs and um, The HOP so it's missions like these that just don't make any sense to me. I mean he wants you to go and attack a, a Trader right and you get a basic weapon chamber now these basic weapon chambers have I've got hundreds of and in terms of what you have to do for this mission it seems like it's just the mission is just a little bit too over the top for such um you know a low to me it's a low tier item because you know you can just get loads of them so yeah i mean some of these rewards i wish they would really go around tweaking up these rewards uh better because uh they're just not worth it they're just not worth the the time you know or the rep loss or whatever to to get that done who rated in here with the pyramid with the big boots Everybody say hello to the pyramid with the big boost. He also has a small boost as well, though. It's which, an honor to see uh, you. Yeah. Special. <laughs> so, no, we don't want ships. We want the modules. And from the modules, we want to get... Mag measure snail production. Yep, so over here, what we want to get from this guy is just the measure snail production. And that is Safe that. Check. So there is another thing that I just do not get about the ergonomics. The ergonomics of these officers is that you put a massive forest in front of the dude you want to talk to. I mean, surely, you know, you would have a gap here and at least, you know, a chair to sit in front of the dude. Not, you know, have to sit at his side to talk to him. Like, you know, he's, he's going to end up with a bloody cramp in his neck or something. I don't know. He's going to end up complaining to HR. That's for sure. Who okay, can and here we are with the... This is with the big bush. <laughs> <laughs> I really I really don't understand the reasoning behind this massive forest there right in front of them. Alrighty, so we've got those three done and out the Goodbye. way. Very nice, very nice indeed. I think what I should probably try to do is um, try to manually, with an EMP, get the medium or small um, argon habitats. Okay, so let us see what we're going to get this time. Are we going to get it on... The first go or not. Oh crap, hopefully the station does not turn red. Okay, this station has not turned red, very good. And there you go, wow, we're getting them first time. Is that changed? Is it now a hundred percent chance to getting these things with the with the EMPs? That is, uh, it's very surprising. Very, very surprising. I really thought we were going to have issues um, trying to get these things. Had I known that, I probably would have ended up trying to get as much EMP bombs as possible and, uh, you know, trying to farm up a number of these modules. Permanent trade subscription added. Um, still don't know where I'm going to find that permanent trade subscription thing, but well, there you go. It's... Anyways, looks like we have everything that we need. 
Okay, so check in the encyclopedia over hither. If we go over to the galaxy of the farmness and da, 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 go to right. So if we go to over here, show us twin uh, the cove and have a look over here. Look, they want to buy space fuel and space weed at quite a decent amount. But the only problem is that the cove is currently where we are. So that was where you know the pirate base is. And we are here, you know, in the cove. We're really far from sort of like everything. And I don't know. I don't think I want to build here or there. Definitely not here. Um, so we can sort of like uh, be in range for our station manager to send, you know, our people to sell all of the good stuff and things. I think what we're going to do is probably like uh, last season is build build uh, somewhere over here. It looks like there's a person of interest over there. If that's a black market here, I'm going to be over the goddamn moon. Um, but yeah, I think probably setting up somewhere around here. I mean, there's only some bits and pieces here that we could probably get rid of that is for sure they'll make good target practice indeed i mean over here there's nothing much going on really for us to to sell things to unless we go hunt around for black market here so once again you know we're quite far from the highway and i would like to try to get you know close to a highway but also you know in my own little uh, sort of like uh, territory kind of thing so, you know, hopefully that won't be too far from the highway, I hope. We just have to wait and uh, find out. Ooh, right then, so we've arrived where our you mission made it. is. Good work. That's not my with the HAT. We're almost ready to meet the scale pipe the tank. Captain. <laughs> Captain. Argon, it is a good thing you have turned up. I am glad you haven't wasted my time. Hello, I'm Dalbusta. I'm very grateful that you agreed to meet with us. I am well aware of who you are and who you represent. Come, we shall speak alone. Very well then. Sorry, looks like it's a private party. Fine, be like that. God damn it. Captain Busta expected this to happen. He instructed that you should head back to Hatikba and await communications. We'll be fine. Okay, we'll look up here for that bit of blurb. Bloody hell, man. Woman. Peoples. Anyways, uh, let us start to hunt for a constructor and uh, some miners and uh, set up our little station. Alright then, so I've just found a ZYA patrol carrier raptor. Now, the thing is, this guy, he does not have any um, ships docked with it, okay? He does have a boarding strength of about 1,700, and if I use all of my personnel, all of my marines, we would have a boarding strength of about 3,000 something. Now, the thing that I don't know how you good people view this is um, we can't just trigger the boarding operation without destroying anything on this, uh, you know, on this carrier. And if we did it like that, it wouldn't try to attack us. It won't turn hostile or if it does, we'll just turn hostile for a couple of seconds and then turn back into neutral. We would also not trigger off any... Um, stress drones or anything of the sort like that so we won't lose rep um, pretty much we don't have any negative uh, impact on us so I don't feel too comfortable about that until I know what you good people think if we should still attack it like that or should we strip down its components turn it into an enemy and lose rep and all of that good stuff so then it would be legit so looking forward to your uh, comments and suggestions on you know that how do you view this whole thing if we just set up the boarding up without destroying anything without turning it into an enemy or not anyways i'm still looking so yes the carrier is over here near the you know near the split shipyard i don't know how that's going to be in your game but this is where i found it at least who read that in so we have our target our target is the Z-Way Construction Elephant. 
Uh, let us go into a bit of a pause, go into a bit of a this. Uh, select every one and do one of those and one of these. Now, what I've noticed is, um, okay, so first of all, the disabled target, they've supposed to have fixed it in, to the point where they won't destroy the target ship, okay? So, you know, that's a good thing. Hopefully, you know, that works out fine and all that good stuff. The other thing is, if we tell, um, if we say, like, you know, we want to board when it's like 30%, unfortunately, what is happening is they launch the drop pods before, you know, it's even at or 50%, for example. So that is something that's sort of like you know bugging me a bit like you know are our marines somewhat dying qu quicker because the hull is not at that low state and you know is that causing a negative impact on the boarding mission itself so anyway we'll set those up we yep disable 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 okay very good and we're gonna say risk low this is yeah, this is the turrets. Okay, so with the turrets, we're going to go very, uh, very weak. So we're going to remove all of the turrets. And I think I'm going to leave the, the hull sort of like strong. At least like this, you know, we are definitely attacking the target. And oh, look at that boarding score. But we're definitely attacking the target. So we're definitely going to trigger it as an enemy. And it is definitely going to be calling other uh ships or whatever do with with the uh, distress signal thing oh crap miss right let us uh start off with that so as you can see i mean for surface t components this weapon setup is awesome okay it is absolutely and utterly awesome the thing that it's not good with is small fighters, medium fighters is even worse. It's going to take like 10 minutes to, to down a medium fighter. A large, like this dude over here, to damage its hull, it's uh, an absolute pain in the backside, really. Is that the surface thing? Yes, it is. But right, there you go, as you saw right there, you know, you're just getting rid of all of this trash off the surface there. If I can select things better. Oh, Jesus. Crapness. Something just rammed the snot out of us. Yes, <laughs> and as you can see, or you will see, our little... Jesus Christ, there is another constructor that has came. Okay. Very fun. Um... Yes, plasma turret, please. Yes, we're getting rid of these goddamn awful turrets. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yes, our ships are going to be ramming the snot out of it, dry humping, uh, uh, dry humping the snot out of it, and all of that good stuff. I really wish they would stop attacking those goddamn drones, though. Uh, and that's that. Destroyed turrets is sorted. Let me just see if there's any more anyways that I'm going to get rid of. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. That bloody yellow... That other constructor there, man. I mean, if two constructors were to speed up the whole building process, I would definitely capture it. But as it's not, then I can't be bothered. Really wish that could be a thing though. Really wish you could assign like more than one constructor for a job. I mean, let's say you want to spend the money. If you have the money, you want to spend it just to speed up a build, then yeah. I know there's a number of people out there that would say, well, I think the building pro the building speed uh, is good enough that you shouldn't build a complex in five minutes. Obviously, you know, I'm not saying build it in five minutes, but if I really want to speed up the process, you know, let me uh, spend more money or get more constructors, hire more constructors to, um, you know, help. Okay, so we're at the protect boarding pods. Steady. Hopefully, they don't die to friendly fire from the the flak. Now, what I am doing is really not having that much effect on 
Oh, this crap. Yes, thank you very much. Definitely needed to be nudged it like that. Jeez, I would really love it if you had the option to say, look, don't launch the boarding pods until the shields are down or until the hull is, I don't know, 75, 50%, 15%, for example. Now, I have been doing a number of experiments off camera as well. I've equipped the Cobras with the Mass Driver and the other one, um, I forgot what it's called. It works pretty much like the Mass Driver. Uh, they would not attack the uh, the target on a boarding off. If we give it, if you gave it the, the boarding command, it would just simply won't use them. Uh, but if you did give it an attack command, yes, then it would use them. So the other thing was, you know, I tried them on a small, small craft, small ships. Um, what what would happen with them is they would go into the attack, and once they're pulling out during that sort of like U-turn, then they would fire the weapon, and obviously they won't hit it because they're pulling away from the target. So yes, I have been trying a couple of bits and bobs out. Um, I think probably the best bet is setting up a number of uh, small crafts. Probably with the setup that I'm using here of the Balo to... Or Balo, my god, man. This little ship that we're using here. Uh, set up the same way. Just to attack the surface targets. And then either you would be in a different construct... Uh, construct. Different ship altogether. And just, you know, take that hull down. Excellent, and there we go, we have captured the elephant. Excellent stuff. Let us have a look, see what is things like out here. None of our stuff is being targeted, none of our stuff is being attacked, nothing else has gotten red. There's a hell of a lot of distressed drones though. I mean, seriously man, that spam of drones. But yeah. Well done. Let's see how many people we have actually left on, you know, our crew. Well, our uh, marines. Um, okay, well, he, I can't tell how many of them died like this. Oh, wait, we got 154. Um, crap, I didn't take any notice of the total amount of marines that we sent uh, to this. Okay. Righty, I'm going to get this thing repaired, and then we're going to start our build. Who read that in? So it looks like we've only lost 15 uh, marines on that. Yeah. We only lost 15 marines on this boarding attempt, so that's not too bad, I guess. You know, it's one minotaur's worth of crew. So yeah, that went pretty well. Who righty then? Oh my god, man, my computer is, is fans are going 100%. Hopefully it's not making too much noise, you know, on the mic. But anyways, um, over here, the HP have taken over by its mists too. They've, uh, yeah, pretty much gotten rid of everything. There's only, what, two stations? Yep, two stations only of the Paranid left in the sector. I don't think the HP will make their own trading station over here I highly doubt it so we'll just have to wait and see what they're gonna do but what we would have to do is just go around with you know just trying to get um, black marketers to pop up or at least get the missions to have them pop up so over here uh, I think we're gonna set up as we did last time over on this side because we have traffic coming and going from here and I didn't want to block this area with something that large just because of the AI pathing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're probably going to go with just 10 all the way around. I think that is big enough for what we want. I mean, that's a 20 by 20 by 20. Jesus, so yes, for sure, you know, that has to be big enough, right? Oh, crikey, that is definitely big enough. Um... Yeah, I don't want it to be that high. Um, how can I sort this elevation out? Oh, okay, yep, that that pretty much, yep, that was pretty much sorted out there. Um, yeah, give it a bit of a 
bit of a rotation. I hope just to get this bit a bit straighter. It doesn't it's not gonna make that much difference if it does any difference at all. So yes, I think we have everything that we need to set up this station. And what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna start oh we have the Oh crikey, I didn't even need to buy that. We got this one. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty damn neat, but we would probably have our miners coming in from this side because there's the two gates up the top there. I believe we can get ice from uh, the sector just north of us. So let me just rotate this guy around pretty please. Okay. And you are right in the middle. Who rated it? So I was just checking out some of the split bits and pieces. Um, especially the these cross sections. They can send us off, you know, in, in sort of like two directions. Uh, like that, rather than the cross piece, which would just be north, east, south, west. Um, over here, I just laid down these the four water produ pro pro production things, which actually, you know, really do look like something that produces water, to be honest. Um, so I laid those down. I don't know if we're going to be going with the Argon base uh, connections just yet. We'll just see if I'm going to be using that cross piece and all of that good stuff. We'll see how, how things are going to go. Um, so we might use the, the split one, which, you know, opens up into four, uh, which I didn't realize, which is pretty much given to us free. So up here I've just laid down all of the bits and bobs that we're going to be using for this build. We're going to be going with uh, three medical supplies, two food rations, uh, four large habitats, three medium habitats, four space weed productions, eight space fuel production, ten measure dust production, uh, six measure snail productions, uh, three swamp plants, three wheats, three spice, and two energy cell produ productions, and one meat production as well. So, yeah, that is a sort of uh, state of things. We have to put all of these things down in a nice looking way. <laughs> Which I think is going to be an absolute pain in the neck. But it is something that, you know, I like to do. I like to have my stuff, you know, my, my complexes looking a little bit good. You know what I mean? So yes, uh, I don't know where I'm going to start from, but I'm going to make this a little bit of a time lapsey thing, so I hope you good peoples enjoy. Okay, so I honestly cannot understand why this is happening. <laughs> why are they equal, for God's sake? What the hell have I done wrong? I mean, seriously, they should be the same bloody... Can I select that piece of crap, please, game? I mean... Yeah, no, nah, it's... Uh... What the hell? What have I done wrong?
that seems to be it, I think. I hope, I pray, and everything else. <laughs> it has taken me forever to do this, man. And, and I had to redo half of it, like, twice, because for some reason I hit something on the goddamn keyboard, and it brought me back to the map screen. You know what I mean? And it didn't save anything. And you know what I mean with all the swear in there? So let's do that. So like that it has saved and we've used all of the split connections, but we're using, you know, the mix of the Argon and Taladi and Paranid stuff. Uh, for the stations, got these two over here. I don't know if I've showed them on uh, in the time lapse. But pretty much went just full pulse on the large and everything medium uh, are all flags. So we got two defense discs for now. Um, a couple of pads, you know, so wherever we land, hopefully we can get like a decent view. I mean, we can't put one of these on top of this because there's no connection under it which is very very strange I uh, you know I don't know why we don't have a connection under four but yeah well you know there you go so that's that there I was actually aiming to try to get um, a lot of the, the greenery sort of like stuff near the top here so when we're at the pier you know we can see all the greenery bits the nice little green stuff and then you know down further down you go the sort of more I don't know how to say it, the more, you know, uh, rough kind of thing, uh, dirty, smuggish kind of like stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean, but yeah, so yeah, that is that, so hopefully this uh, complex will work out properly, I hope that isn't too tall there, it looks a bit of an eyesore, but nothing much I can really do unless I put it here and then it might cover up quite a lot of uh, view though or hopefully this upload hasn't isn't going to be a long one because I do know you know not a lot of people like long uploads so I'm gonna try to keep it short and I think I'm gonna call it actually here for this one so hopefully you good people's so, alright looking forward to seeing this work and and would love to know what you think is it going to work properly are we gonna make money am I gonna cry and all of that good stuff in the box in the down there I mean I know we have to unlock a load of uh, black market gears that is for sure to really really make profit out of this thing we do have a number of gaps which we can always fill in with uh, defense uh, discs or whatever and all of that good stuff and things we can pop down that is no problem at all um, yeah definitely have room to expand if we want we can expand to the left and to the right as well that is for sure C keeping on this sort of like uniform thing <laughs> thing but yeah that is that and just going to make sure that I saved it. Excellent. So I guess I'm going to call it here my awesome YouTube. And so hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button. Like they owe you money. So take care. And I'll catch you all on the next one.